you've done so many great pieces of work. One of your more recent ones, proved very popular on the internet, involved you singing with some friends a rendition of a beloved song called Imagine. It was a sort of Vera Lynn type thing. It was a way of raising people's spirits. I think it was Gal Gadot's idea. Gadot. How do you pronounce her name? I think it's Gadot. I don't think it is. She's not French. You're thinking of Bridget Bardot. No, you could be right, actually. I don't know if I've heard her say it. So, I enjoyed it, first, let me say. You don't. But then, surprisingly, I discovered... Quite quickly after I first watched it, it was proving divisive on the internet. There were people who didn't like it. Some people seem to regard it as a kind of celebrity. What was it? Sort of. Uh, I don't know how you describe it. I can't believe it was viewed as sort of I don't know patronising or something. Certainly tone deaf. Someone said it was worse than the coronavirus itself. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> You have a good voice, by the way. I think it wasn't the singing, though. I think what bothered people was the idea that stars in big homes in Hollywood would cheer people up by singing a song (laughs) rather badly, as it turned out. Although I don't think that was the issue. Your thoughts? First of all, thanks so much for bringing it up. Second of all, in terms of my interpretation (laughs) of it... I think the backlash was justified. I have to say, the next morning, I was like, God, what's this Imagine thing? It had happened so quickly the day before where I was running from one kid to the other and I was walking through the garden and said, oh, we have to do a video for Gal Gadot. And I was like, what? How did the request come in? Through Kristen Wiig, who is a good friend of ours. And then they had just done Wonder Woman together. Kristen's in Wonder Woman. And I'll do anything Chris had asked me to do. So, of course, we just did it. It took five minutes, didn't think about it. I presumed it was for kids. Or I know that Gal works for UNICEF. So I presumed it was a charity. Thing. Which would have been even more cruel, by the way, <laughs> to make children listen to it. I think there are laws against that. But sorry, go on. But, yeah, people were... It was definitely... We were in that first wave of creative diarrhoea. That seemed to encase the entire world, particularly momentarily. It was just a bunch of people running around thinking that they had to do something. when We really didn't. We just needed to just chill out and just take everything in. So I think that any backlash was fairly justified. Grounded with Louis Theroux.